Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my April beauty favorites. Uh, a little late, but I wanted to get this up. Um, some of these you've already seen before, but I wanted to kind of give you an update. Some are new products. Um, one is something that I've talked about before a ton. And I pulled it out again and I was like, I gotta talk about it again. And yeah, so let's get started. First, um, I picked these up during the Sephora sale. This is the Shiseido Facial Cotton. And I just forget like how much I love them. They're so soft and fluffy and they're just, they really do make a difference when you're applying toners or removing your eye makeup or whatever you're using them for. They are so, they definitely are different than the average drugstore cotton. All right, I picked this up recently, probably a couple weeks ago, and I'm not big on self tanners. So I, I mean, obviously I'm super, super fair and pale. And even when I do wear self tanners, there's ones that I've tried over the years and sometimes they'll work great for a few days. And then I have like, I don't know, I, maybe I've built up too much or I have like an off day and all of a sudden it's like streaky central. So I forgot how much I love this. Oh, the huge barcodes on the front of it. Sorry. Um, but the Jergens natural glow. And I, I forgot how much I really did enjoy using this. I use it, I got it in the shade fair to medium. It will not, like if you're fair like me, it will not make you like a bronzed goddess. You won't be Giselle after this, but it will just give you a little bit of color. I tend to use it like every single day until I start to see it. And then I kind of like taper off maybe every other day or every second day. And I don't find that it gives too much of a smell but I mean, you definitely can smell it on you, but it's not like a really like off putting smell, at least for me, it's not. So I've just, that's just one I found. It's a very gradual, very, very gentle kind of, um, forming of color. Okay. This is new. And I just wanted to mention it because I'm such a fan of these already. The Mario Badescu facial spray. They just launched a new one. It's the facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. I love it. Um, I, first of all, I love these Mario Badescu mists. I don't use it for like setting makeup or like anything like that. This is used during my skincare routine typically, or if I'm not wearing any makeup because the mist is quite strong and it will kind of definitely drench your face. But what I love about these as well, besides the fact that it's a great mist is it's so affordable. I can't remember what's how much this size is, but it's not even more than like $15. I'm thinking it's even less than that. I'm hoping, but I'll, I'll link it down below so you can see, but this is a new one that they just launched. So I'm excited. You know, you don't get too many new launches from Mario Badescu, but I was really excited for that. All right. Another favorite this month is the lip that I'm wearing. So I went through my, um, lip drawers the other day and I kind of get in like a, a rut. Do you ever do that? You get in like a lip rut. I mean, I have colors in the, in my bathroom that I use every day, but all of a sudden you'll like look down and be like, it's been four months and I have like a ton of more lip colors back there. So I decided to kind of pull some out and kind of, you know, switch things up. And it's this color by Mac. It's one of the cream sheens called Nippon N I P P O N. And I just think it is the prettiest. It definitely is very, very peachy. So it's not, a, like a fleshy nude. It definitely has some color to it, but I love it because it's very like a juicy peach color. But as you can see, it still looks great with like a very neutral look and it's not a very, it's not like a coral or a bright orange. Okay. I bought this during the Sephora VIB sale and I was really excited about it. And I have just fallen in love with it. The Donna Karen cashmere mist deodorant. Like what took me so long to discover this? It was on my list. We talked about that list and I finally checked this off. I'm really upset with myself that I didn't check it off sooner. It's a deodorant antiperspirant. Smells like the cashmere mist fragrance, which is kind of like a powdery musky scent. And the first few days it takes some getting used to cause you're like, whoa, it's definitely, it's, it has a fragrance to it. So it's not like if you don't like fragrance to your deodorants, or you don't, or you want your deodorant to kind of smell more, I don't know, like baby powder or like degree or something like that. This is not for you because it smells very perfumed. 
That being said, after about a week, I hardly even noticed the scent. Second, it, when people say it's a good antiperspirant, it is a good antiperspirant. Like I am a sweater, not wearing a sweater. I am a sweater. I am someone, I get that from my dad because my dad was a sweater as well. And I was never that girl when I was growing up where other girls would be out, we would be outside or, you know, playing in school or something. And some girls would just look just a little bit, um, you know, misty and you could tell they were outside, they had a little bit of a sheen to them. No, no, I was drenched in sweat. My clothes would be soaking. I am someone that really, I mean, I've had to search for deodorants that really work. And this has kept me so dry. Nothing keeps me like, perfectly dry, but this is probably one of the best I've ever tried. And then third, the scent is great, keeps you very dry. And then third, as I'm putting on shirts, no matter how invisible a deodorant says that it is, I always still have little marks, like on a black shirt or something, no matter how careful I am. This gives me the least amount of white marks of any deodorant I've ever tried, ever, hands down. So I, this is like, this is going to be a staple. Like, I don't even know if I'm going to change this deodorant. I think I'm just going to stick with this till whenever. So highly recommend trying that. Okay. This other, this next product is not new to the market, but it's new to me. I had one sent to me and I was kind of like, I just don't know what the hype is. And it's the wet brush. The, I don't know if you've got to heard, I'm sure you've heard of the wet brush. Um, but it's supposed to be great for detangling the hair. Now, I don't brush my hair. Um, I don't know, with my fingers I do, but I don't like brush it throughout the day. I don't have, str I don't wanna pull off the curls, number one, but I, I, I don't know, do people still brush their hair? I just envision like as a child, you're always like brushing your hair, or you know, you're supposed to have one, you have long hair, you brush it, makes it longer, or whatever it's supposed to do. Anyway, I don't ever brush my hair, mainly because I grew up with very curly hair that kind of settled into wavy hair now, and I style it with curls, so I don't want to pull those out, but my hair gets very tangled, especially after a few days of maybe not washing it and using all sorts of product in it, or right after the shower, and this is supposed to be very gentle on the hair, and it really is. It helped to detangle my hair so much when it's wet, or when it's dry, I kind of just grab a section and kind of brush out a little bit. I don't brush it like when it's all done. I typically brush it like to get out any residual like dry shampoo or styling products, or I'm getting out of the shower. So I'm finally a convert, love the wet brush. Now it took me a little bit to find it, to finally discover it. Okay, this I talked about in a recent blog post and I had posted it on Instagram. Um, that's often where I like share like quick little snippets and that sort of thing. I mean, my blog, I feed, I, everything goes through my actual site, but Instagram is kind of always that place where I'm kind of sharing quick little snippets. And the Kate Somerville, uncomplicated, Kated SPF 50. It's a makeup setting spray and an SPF. Mind blown, I know. I first saw this and I was kind of like, oh, is it just a spray? like um, SPF, but then it said setting spray, makeup setting spray, and I was like, is it both? It is, and it has SPF 50. This will not replace your SPF. If you're running out for some errands or that sort of thing, yeah, sure, this is great. If you're gonna be out and about for like the whole day, you need SPF underneath, but this is a great way to touch up and also to have like an maybe extra added barrier. And another tip or another thing with this, it literally sets my makeup and mattifies the skin. So when I first sprayed it, um, I don't even know if I don't, let me see if I can, Ooh, I want, I want you guys to kind of see. Oh, it's going to be hard on camera because I can see it much more like in person. Let me put a little on my forehead here. Okay. Anyway, I, when I first tried this, I looked in the mirror and things just, it immediately mattifies the skin and it kind of gives a slight blurring to the skin. And I just was like, hands down, I absolutely adore this stuff. It's not too, it doesn't leave, it's not like wet or anything on the skin. It's, um, it doesn't make it, it doesn't feel heavy or anything like that. It definitely takes some getting used to with the, with the spraying aspect of it. But I have been wearing this every day just as a setting spray and a bonus, it has an SPF 50. 
it has been selling out very, very quickly. So I'm sure they're gonna restock it and that sort of thing because it is a permanent product. But if you're thinking about getting it, you're kind of like on the fence and you see it in stock and just get it. Um, and then obviously if you don't like it, you can return it maybe to Sephora or something. But I have just been, it's hands down become like my favorite SPF to use right now. All right, the Marc Jacobs highlighter, the coconut do drops, do you, do drops, whatever. Uh, yeah, it's amazing. I just can't get enough. Today I'm actually not wearing it. I'm wearing a uh, hourglass, the incandescent light or something. It's in one of the palettes. I'll make sure to link it below in the makeup that I wear. But this, the um, liquid highlighter I talked about that I just purchased from the Sephora sale. Yeah, or before the Sephora sale even, I think. Um, it's stunning. It's beautiful. Let me just put a little bit on my hand so you can see the gloriousness that is this highlighter. I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. But what's beautiful about it is it just, it can be very obviously heavy, but it, it really disappears into the skin to give it a natural sheen not a highlighter sheen. It looks very, very natural. It looks kind of like your skin just has this amazing glow from a facial. So I've been using it just on my cheekbones, but I would assume that you could probably add maybe a little bit to your foundation and to give the, like an all over glow to the face. On my combination skin, I would look like a disco ball, even though it's very like a, a nice shimmer. But um, maybe if you had drier skin, it could be really nice to add a little bit of a luminescence to the skin. But if you've been thinking about like picking this up, it is absolute perfection. It is really trumping all of my other highlighters right now. And I'm not typically a liquid or a cream fan, but that changed my mind. All right, I pulled this out again the other day and I was like, no, 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 it's, it has to be talked about again because it's truly one of my favorite foundations of all time. The Laura Mercier Smooth Finish Flawless Fluid. What I love about this is it gives insane coverage. It's very long wearing, not full, full coverage, but you can build it up to that. It just instantly mats my skin. It's very long wearing. It's just a complete smudge proof. It is going to last an entire day. This is something I'd wear to like an outing, out and about, an amusement park even. I mean, you can sheer it out so you don't need to like go like full face. Um, even though there's nothing wrong with you when I go full face, ride that roller coaster in a full face. I would applaud you. Uh, but I have just, it doesn't pull apart. Oh, and it's oil free. So even for those that have drier skin, I don't feel like it, it pull, doesn't pull any dry patches or whatnot. It's probably a little bit better for oilier combination skin, but I think dry skin could probably get away with this. I just have been, I've just been going back to it every single day and I felt the need to talk about it again. All right, the Christoph Robin Purifying Shampoo. Now I have talked about their purifying salt scrub for my scalp, which I tend to use about once a week, once every two weeks. And it really helps to really give my scalp a deep clean, but it helps to soothe it, it helps with flakiness, and it just really helps to like heal the scalp and keep it very balanced. But they have a purifying shampoo, and I've actually been using this like about once a week as my regular shampoo and it just helps to rebalance the hair. And that's typically, that's really what I need. And it helps to purify the hair, but not strip the scalp. So you're not gonna be really like stripping all the oils and everything out of the scalp. And I need a purifying shampoo on the regular because I do suffer from flakiness here and there. And I do use a lot of styling products in my hair. Sometimes no, sometimes yes, I go through phases. And, but, I've really, really been loving this as an alternative to the kind of every few weeks treatment that I um, have from him. All right, the final one is a nude nail polish. I keep forgetting to talk about this in my uh, videos. And it's just like a brand had sent me a few of these colors it's by Maxis. I've never, I've never heard of the brand before, but this shade in particular adored as you can see, it's like this fleshy nude. It is the most beautiful nude. I'm actually not wearing it today. I have like a, a white on my nails. But I felt if you're looking for a really great, not too gray, not too beige, not too pink, it kind of falls right in the middle, at least on my skin tone. Now, if you have a different skin tone, it could look very different. Um, but I just absolutely, I wonder if you can see it better against, oh, there you go, against my black shirt. It really is the most 
gorgeous nude. And it does last quite a long time. I mean, I really think it's your base and top coat too that really help. But those are my favorites for the month of April. Like I said, only a few new discoveries and a few, oh my gosh, my, my hand is like all shimmery from the highlighter and it looks all like glowy and stuff. But a few new additions and a few things that I just have been loving and have talked about already, but wanted to give you updates that yes, I'm still loving them. So I'll link everything down below. And also just so you know, Every time I, all the makeup I wear in every single video is always linked below in the description box as well. So if you ever have any questions, sometimes I may forget something here and there and always call that out to me. But for the most part, I'll link everything that I'm wearing in the um, description box below. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.